a major push to get more foster kids through college. 84% of them go to college, but only 3% end up graduating. A bipartisan bill at the State House aims to change that. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fame joins us now live to tell us how lawmakers and former foster care kids think this bill will help. Natalie? The bill was voted out of the House Higher Education Committee earlier this morning with all yay votes. And former foster care kids say knowing that a bill like this existed would have been a game changer when they were in the system. No one should have to choose between meeting their present needs and setting themselves up for success in the future. Kaden Bearfield was in foster care as a teenager. She ended up graduating with a two-year degree in four years. While there is nothing wrong with this, um, issues specific to foster youth, including housing insecurity, um, contributed to needing to take time off of school. She says resources specific to former foster youth helped her succeed, but some of those included pandemic funding, which makes her nervous for future students in her same situation. But House Bill 161 aims to change that. It's a starting point. If there is a, a, a huge demand, which I believe that ultimately there will be, um, you know, we will have further conversations. It would be an enormous game changer in care. The bill would create a foster to college scholarship program, appropriating $7.5 million in 2024 and another $7.5 million in 2025 for the scholarship. The scholarship would be for any Ohio resident who was placed in foster care or non-certified kinship care on or after their 13th birthday. One of the bill sponsors, Representative Dontavious Geralds, tells me the price tag on the bill outweighs the cost of doing nothing. If we do nothing, are more likely to have a criminal record go into our, our prison system. According to the Children's Defense Fund Ohio, 40% of young adults who were in foster care do not have a high school diploma. More than half were unemployed at 21, and more than one in three experience homelessness. I cannot count the friends and kids that I grew up with who passed away on my fingers. These numbers are terrifying, and it is beyond heartbreaking the danger youth put themselves when they feel that they have no other options. The bill would also require the Chancellor of Higher Education to hire four full-time employees to help foster care youth navigate the scholarship program and their path to higher education. Local for you at the Statehouse, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4.